Hi everyone, welcome to my English lesson. Today we will begin a new chapter that is Unit 7, Extreme Situations. And in this lesson, we are going to focus on reading skill. If you have your textbook with you, you can refer to page 83. Before we start the lesson, let's go through the learning objectives and success criteria of this lesson. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify the main points in the text, explain orally their own point of view. Success criteria. Skim the text to find out if your predictions based on the title of the text is correct and explain orally your own point of view on what you think happened based on the questions you have answered in Activity A. Okay, so now let me open the Google form for this lesson. You can find the link in the description of this video. Okay, so this is a Google form. You can type your name. You can just leave a nickname. So, okay, choose your class and click next. Okay. All right, let's have some discussion based on the picture in your textbook, page 83. Okay, you see this picture in page 83 of your textbook. Alright, what's happening in this picture? As you can read through the caption, it says, A man rope jumping, a new extreme sport which combines the thrill of rock climbing, bungee jumping and skydiving into one. So, is this an extreme situation? Yes, of course. Why? Because this is a very extreme activity, right? How the person might be feeling if you are in this situation? How how might you be feeling? Scared? Excited? So it must be a very intense feeling, right? Okay. What about you? Would you like to try this spot? For me, if I'm at your age, I would definitely like to try it out. You know, youngsters are often fearless. But now I may hesitate because I'm not sure if my heart can bear with this kind of extreme excitement anymore. Okay. All right. Now I would like you to draw a circle map. Okay. To jot down whatever words that come across your mind that's related to extreme situations like this. So here is an example of circle map. Okay. So you write the title in the middle, extreme situations. Okay. And these are some of the words that can be related to extreme situations. Okay, like for example, challenging, survival, submit, danger, cope. Okay, and there are a lot more words you can write. Okay, so you can do one like this. Just draw on a piece of paper, take a picture and upload in this Google form. Click Add File and then upload the picture of your Google Map. Uh, sorry, of the circle map here. Okay. Alright, let's proceed to the next activity. Okay. So, activity A. Read the breaking news about a real life story. Okay, so you're going to read through this breaking news. Okay, this is taken from your textbook. Hmm. Okay, so after you have read through this breaking news, you have to find a talk partner, discuss the following questions. Who are the people in the story and where were they? Where were they going and what do you think happened next? Okay, record your discussion and upload the video. You can either take a video or you can just record the voice and then you just upload the file here. Okay. Okay, let me go through this breaking news. Okay, so you have the day and the date and it happened in year 1972. So this is actually a real story that really happened in 1972. Okay, Flight 571 carrying Uruguay's championship rugby team took off from Montevideo, Uruguay heading to Santiago, Chile on the plane were 45 people, the crew, 
the Uruguayan players and their friends and relatives. So there are a lot of people in the plane. Okay. Soon after takeoff, the plane had to stop in Mendoza, Argentina, because of bad weather. Okay. So this gives you some hints. Something bad is going to happen because there is a bad weather. Okay. All right. Friday. So just now it was. Thursday, they took off on Thursday, and then the next day, afternoon, two eighteen p.m., flight five seven one took off again, heading for Santiago, and then later, about one hour later, what happened? About an hour into the flight, the pilots began to descend into Santiago, not realizing the plane was still close to the high peaks of the Andes Mountains. Okay. So, after reading this, can you predict? So you have uh, gone through this already. So you know who are the people and where were they? They were in the plan, right? And then where were they going? They're going to heading to heading for Santiago, okay? And then what do you think happened next? Okay, this does not tell you in the breaking news here. You have to read the rest of the passage. To find out what happened, but before you read, you have to predict first. You have, uh, what do you think may happen next? Okay, all right. So discuss with your talk partner and tell your partner what do you think might happen to these people or to this flight. Okay. As for me, let me also make a prediction on what will happen to this flight. Um, I predict that, uh, the flight will crash on the Andes Mountain, and all the people in the flight die. Okay, so this is my prediction. Hmm. So let uh later we're going to read through the text and find out whether my prediction is correct. Okay. Okay, next activity. Hmm, activity B. Refer to your textbook, page eighty-four to eighty-five. You're going to read an article about what happened to the passengers on flight five seven one. Quickly scan the article to check your predictions about what happened next. Okay, so uh, these are the questions, right? Okay, that you're going to answer. Were your predictions correct? So, from based on your discussion with your talk partner just now, okay, uh, maybe, uh, your prediction if your predictions are correct, you click yes on if not no or partly maybe you predicted that, uh, maybe like for example, I predicted that they crash on and this mountain. Maybe this part is correct, but maybe not all of them die. So. So the half part, the second half parts of the prediction is not correct. So partly, so how do you feel about what the man achieved, and what do you think is the most surprising part of the story? Okay, so now you're going to scan through the text. So, so at this stage, okay, you have to you just scan through very quickly. You don't have to go into every single details yet. So just skim through very quickly. And then, how do you feel about what the man achieved? So here, from this sentence, uh, see this question, we roughly know that there are certain men that they achieved something. And what do you feel about that? Okay. And then, what do you think is the most surprising part of the story? Okay. And just type your answer here. Okay. So now let me open the text. Okay, so this is the text that you can see in your textbook also. If you have, if you don't have the textbook, you can look at the screen. But I'm scared that the words might be too small for you. Okay, so if you have your textbook, it's better. Okay, so now we're going to skim through very quickly to find out your uh, whether your predictions are correct. And then also to answer the the other two questions in the Google form, right? Okay, I will give you about one minute time to skim through the text and to find out your predictions whether it's correct or not. Okay.
One minute start now. Okay, time's up. Okay, so do you manage to find out what happened? Okay, so was uh, were your predictions correct? Okay, as for me, my predictions were partly correct because, uh, as I say, I, I predicted that the the flight crashed into the mountain. Okay, but not all people died. Only twenty nine people died. Okay, and some of them they survive. Okay, until the end. All right. Okay, so let's go back to the Google form. Hmm. How do you feel about what the man achieved? So what the man had achieved actually, what the man had achieved in this story. Instead of just waiting uh on the mountain for the rescue team, they actually sent three men. To go out to look for a way out, right? To get help, and then at the end, what happened? All of them survive, right? They all had made it out, okay. And so, how do you feel about this achievement? Yeah, I feel really touched because a situation like this, they never give up. Okay, they still hold on, and they still survive. And the last one, what do you think is the most surprising part of the story? Which part do you think is the most surprising part? For me, I think it's the ending of the story because uh, at first I didn't think I didn't think that they can survive. Okay, even though uh, they went out to look for solutions, but there are so many challenges they face. Okay, I thought that. Mm, their chances of living is very slim, but then they manage to make it. Okay, so I think this is a very surprising, uh, part of the story for me. Okay, so what about you? What do you think? Okay, so type your answers here. All right. Okay, so this is the end of uh, part one of reading lesson for this unit. Okay, so before we end. Okay, let's try to answer this this question in idea focus. Do you think you could cope with the situation if you got lost in a foreign country? Why or why not? Okay, so what do you think? Would if you get lost in a foreign country, so do you manage to survive? Okay, what one thing could you not survive without? Is it? Could it be your mobile phone? I can't live without my phone. Okay, I think this is very common for most of the youngsters nowadays. Is it? Is it true for you? Okay. All right. So that's the end of the lesson. Thank you very much. Okay. So we shall proceed to part two of reading skills of Unit Seven in the next video. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for attending the lesson. Please subscribe to my channel for more English lesson, and don't forget to um, continue with part two of the lesson in the next video. Okay, see you. Bye.